What is up guys, it's Rashad and I'm back here at the shop, uh, XS Motorworks, and I'm here to give you the long awaited update on the Project Electric Supercar build. It's been a while since I posted on it because we had a lot of setbacks here at the shop that kind of set us back for some time and you know, it took a lot of effort to get back to where we're going. But as you can see behind me, guys, this car, we are in the bodywork stage because we have all of the high voltage electronics figured out. So I'm gonna be showing you some more details on that. Uh, it's really crazy stuff. We're talking about slamming some insane amounts of power here. But Brian, I'm just going to show you what he started to do. He started his design language on the car, and it's really starting to take shape, guys. And on his channel, he goes into detail about what he did as far as how we got to this point. Uh, so I'm going to put his link to his channel below my video, and so you can go over there and get the full detail. But yeah, guys, let me give you just a quick layout of what he's done so far. It's pretty insane. This thing is actually starting to really look like a supercar. And you better believe it, it's gonna be crazy. And these are kits that Brian is gonna be selling. So, so that's the whole purpose of this build is to have a budget high powered supercar platform that is expandable and upgradable to suit your, your needs. So let's jump right into it and go over some of the design language that Brian is choosing behind us. There, that is actually the entire upper half of a Honda Civic SI Coupe. Uh, and that is the platform that Brian's gonna be using for the build because as you saw in the previous videos there was we started with just a frame but now that frame has a body and that body is literally a cut in half right here it's where the honda civic ends and the supercar begins so as you can see back here he's doing the bodywork molding he's doing the plaster so he can kind of get his uh his body lines as you can see he has his roof line set as you can see he's also making it fit you know very nice with the wheels there so we kind of walk around, we can see the overall design. It's really taking shape. As you can see, it's it's very aggressive in the front. So we're still gonna be designing the front as far as the most aggressive look and with the uh, headlights that he chooses. And the biggest part of using this Honda Civic, I would say body, is you get a fully refined interior. Of course, he's gonna rework that entire uh, dashboard there so it will no longer resemble a Honda Civic but it'll resemble a supercar so you see he has his seats there um, and, but the main thing is we have a lot of things already sorted such as AC you have all of your steering controls as far as your turn signals and of course you also have the seals and stuff and you have all the trim that's already been engineered so we just make minor adjustments and you all always have your door your door latches and Brian goes into detail about how he strips this down and he's going to put his own bodywork on top of this this frame member because this is actually a stressed a stressed member so it's really strong but he's going to come in here as you can see starting to mock up the roll cage and just reinforce that and you can you have a complete complete chassis and I think he plans to actually weld this on top of his frame here at the seams so that's going to be really really awesome guys I'm going to kind of get in here so we can take a look at how it's going to be I mean, the seating position inside of here is very aggressive, guys. It almost feels like I'm down in an Audi R8. This is absolutely amazing. And you had better believe that once this platform is complete, I will be building one for myself because, as I mentioned before, these will be fully... This is kind of like a, uh, a project that will be available for sale. So that's going to be extremely exciting. And here's kind of the back look on the other side. Here's that front piece there. See that body line is very low, aggressive. And let me just kind of give you a look at how, how low this car is. Post this up here, angle it down. That's me standing next to the cars, guys. It's right at my hip height and I'm 6'2". So it hits right here at my hip, so it's extremely low to the ground. And powertrain will go right in the back here. Right now it's currently on the stand over there the Tesla motor and here is the other car here so that same chassis platform goes on both cars so this is the electric chassis and that's his gas chassis that he's actually using for the mock-up but both are going to be working in seamless transition so it'll be a lot more content to come um, a lot more updates as far as this build and don't forget to like and subscribe and go and check out Brian's channel if you want the full details on how he is actually making this happen. Last thing, let's look at that uh, that window rake. That's super aggressive. Super, super aggressive because he also mentions what happened to the car in his, in his other channel. So a lot of cool stuff coming out of the shop, guys. So like and subscribe, invoke performance. Go and check out Brian's channel. 
and I will see you guys later.